Hello, welcome back. Last time I reached the end of the Island of Buckets. Sort of. Um, I did get to the end, but there are still three puzzles to do here. No, two puzzles. Three? Alright, map button in this game is that one. One I would never think to press. Okay, so two puzzles here. I want to sample these, but maybe I'll get them done. We'll see. Bean in the corner, difficulty five. Okay, so typical recipes. One exploder down there. I need you to explode this because there's no way a roller's going to do it and buckets can't destroy rocks, okay? So here's a one-way gate. I can walk through. Somebody's going to have to help me get back through. I certainly can't spawn a monster there because there's no angle I can stand here to reach that. So how is that going to work then? What kind of monster will do that? A bucket, maybe? Because, like, I could probably set up... I'm thinking of that thing I did um, in a different puzzle. See, that'll just let itself through and then get stuck. Um, idea, though. Oh boy, how would this work? I think the answer is it wouldn't. But I was thinking... If you come through here and are heading back the other way... <laughs> no, okay, never mind. Uh, okay, so, being in the corner. You, you're in the corner. I need you. Slime, let stuff be sent back and forth. This isn't enough room to send a roller through, though. I could bring it to me, but that seems not so useful. Two blues, one red, one yellow. This seems a lot more approachable than Lazy River. Like, there's actually something to puzzle out here rather than... Well, I mean, there's, in theory, something to puzzle out in Lazy River, but it's not the, not the style of puzzle I enjoy because it's just so... so state-dependent. And, like, what I have to do depends so much on what I did before. I mean, here it does too, kind of, but, like, there's actual geometry to move around that I can reason about. In theory. So, um, return trip. Return trip is the tricky thing. Yeah, so I was thinking about this whole thing I did in some puzzle somewhere. I don't want to warp to it. Through the cracks, that was the one. Where I had... A bucket trying to move, but blocked by a roller. Uh, that's not what I wanted you to do. At some point, you'll be able to drop that. There we go. Who I could make roll, but this geometry doesn't allow such a thing. What about the opposite? Well, opposite wouldn't really mean anything. Hey, wait a second. Couldn't I just... Oh, no, that's tile, so no, can't just grow a bean there, of course. All right. Uh, well, sure, I want these. At some point, it's going to make sense to put down a bean in a particular place so that a bucket can bring it to me. I don't think this is the puzzle where that does make sense, though. Uh, potential to spawn a roller, blow it up and get it back? No, if I'm blowing anything up, it has to be here or here. And that's the end of the puzzle. Bombs bounce on water, but this puzzle's only bounded on one side by water, and... Well, lots of things. So, this plate... What do you suppose I need to do in order to get back from here? I do need to get back. There's no way I could possibly coerce a bucket into picking that up and bringing it back to me without me going down here. So I'll be down here. I'll be down here. I can't blow anything up. All I can do is send a 
bucket or two. I mean, yeah, that's it. Or have a roller who's already over there see me. I can't have a roller who's down here see me. Because there's not enough room to roll north. And I could roll east-west if I wanted. So how can a roller... Hmm. Hmm. Trying to look for a way that I could, like, uh, plant one of you here. Have you see me. And somehow time this so that it actually works. Yeah, that's doable. So I'd put you here. Spawn that, and at some point you see me. Let's say that point we're now. I would need to be... Three later. One, two, three. Oops, uh, that was four. Oops, uh, that was not... Uh, well, oops, oops, ah, there's the wait button. Okay, that's something at least. I can't use it. There's no place I can stand where the roller sees me and the bucket doesn't uh, block its vision. And I have another bucket here for some reason. If you see me there, I die. If I'm here, you don't see me, and I can't move you without... Hmm. A bucket. Pick me up and take me across that slime. <laughs> I'm gonna ride in you. So, why do you suppose this bean would be here? No matter what, I have to walk back through this. Because I can never go through slime, I can never go through water, I can never go through walls. Having a roller stop there would not help me walk back through this. So a good thing would be an interference pattern between two buckets. One down here, walking like this. One up here, walking like this. They would bump into each other on this tile. Neither would actually step on it. They'd both turn around. And that would be enough room for me to get through. So one bucket moving vertically here, one moving vertically here. If I had both blue beans on this side, I think I could set that up. I don't see how the roller could help. What's the... Mm, Okay, sure. So what's the rule for bucket picking up bean and moving? So if you... Right here, let me put this against a surface. You pick it up. Well, if I zap it in the turn, you turn around. Well, that time you dropped it. 
Why not back there? What did I do differently? Oh no, that's the same turn you picked it up, right? Yes, it's another turn you turn around, it's the turn you pick it up. Okay, so zap, zap, doesn't get it. If I were standing here, zap, zap, doesn't get it. So it has to be clean on the space that I, on the turn that I zap. Of course it does. Okay. I can zap through the water. That's not useful north to south, south to north. Also doesn't seem useful, but at least I could grow something that way. I can spawn you now. That's a terrible idea. I don't want to do that. Okay, yeah, so main thing I'm seeing is buckets going, one bucket doing this, another bucket doing this, timed with each other so they collide here at the switch block. Should be stable and should let me get back through. Because I could disrupt this bucket, step here when the bu other bucket steps on the switch, it'd turn around and be nice enough to let me through. Okay. But I don't have two blues, I have a blue and a red. So if I would send you through here... Yeah, if I had another bucket, I would plant it now, I would grow it, I would push it, then I would wish I had done that one turn earlier because then it would synchronize better. Wait, can I let you through here? Nah, yes, but that doesn't help. Does it? Probably not. Well, I can make you turn around... as late as this. Ah, potential. wouldn't necessarily have to be a bottom bucket going up and down like this. It could be going back and forth if I had an obstacle here. Yeah, that's some wishful thinking. But also, no, the obstacle would have to be here and... Yeah, it would work then. Uh, as long as it's no farther south than this. So I don't have time to really do anything here. I could give you a roller bean. And plant. Okay, so how many turns do I have here before the bad happens? That many. Okay. And now we're all locked in. So to use a roller in some way that creates Well, if I can stick one of those Okay, I'm not convinced I'm in an unsolvable situation right at this particular moment. I might not be. Could have done that with different timing. And now you're just coming through. And I don't have the time to stop you. Okay. So. Hmm. I mean, I'll try that. Uh, okay, so do I have the time to do this? No. I'm one short. To, like, bring a roller from here down to there. And even if I could, it wouldn't do me any good. 
Hmm. A bucket bumping into a bucket is enough to get it rolling, right? Should be. It is. Let's check that idea I had about buckets interfering is the only thing I could imagine that would get me back through there exactly that. Bomb has to be in my pocket and be in form until I have access to the any of these squares. Anywhere that is not in one of these squares that I plant a bomb will not be able to get it to explode that rock. I must explode the rock. I don't know how to use you. So, okay, so bomb cannot be involved in holding the plate. Uh, yes, that's definitely accurate. So, bucket or roller? Okay, so is there any way this could be a roller? No. If it were sitting still on this, as soon as I stepped, I'd have to step here to survive. You'd go there, and the thing would pop up, and I would never be able to get through. I couldn't get your attention from anywhere else. It has to be a bucket. The best would be a stationary bucket there, but that's impossible because this is tiled over, okay? So then, it's either bucket moving up and down, or bucket trapped by roller, who wants to move up and down. Okay, so that would maybe work with the stationary roller if it were sitting there with this closed. Can't I set that up? I think I can set that up. I'm not sure then what this is for. Um, oops. Now, why do I think I can set that up? Well, because I can send you down here. Plant this. Have it roll at me and have good timing. No, I tried this already. There wasn't a timing that worked this way. I'm going to try every timing. Nope. Uh, but the bucket's also on the wrong side of you, and I can't do this with it on the other side. Can I? I think I can, yeah. Okay. So you can have this. Oh, uh, you can have this. Um, okay, sure. Drop it. Spawn it. Now don't see me. You saw me. And there's nothing I can do about that, right? Now my wand goes through the bucket. Okay, you're gonna have to not have just picked that up. Ah, but you're gonna walk back over it again. This isn't what I want. No, this isn't what I want. I don't think I can have what I want.
Unless somehow this works out. No way. No. Not at all. Okay, what? So if this were the solution, then what would that be for? This would be unnecessary if I could do what I'm trying to do here. Is that true? Stationary roller here, moving bucket there and there. Have the roller see me, it goes here. Dodge out of the way, it's here. That, that, I'm here, it bumps the wall, I stand there, it kills me. So I would end, what I would end up doing would be planting you and having you move horizontally so the roller would bump against you and... Okay, so horizontal motion. Horizontal motion up here. Moving back and forth. I can't send you south from in the north. I'd have to be south to pull you. You can go east-west, that doesn't seem useful. I have to deal with this problem before I've gone down here, so... What's the point of this? I don't get the point of this. I feel like there's some route here, but I have to have to shuffle the pieces around in my head for a bit, and maybe I'll see something? Ooh, I do see something. Alright, here's a little idea. So, I'm gonna bring that one to me. I'm gonna have you also... Oops, uh, yeah, put that down once you're back. I take this, I give you that. You put it here, and I bring it to life. So now, this being here, going up and down, totally has the potential to get blocked by that. Okay, so putting that roller barricade in there means this switch mechanism is stable. Oh, okay, and that's all I needed. Okay, neat. I did it. Okay. So I was right, uh, and yeah, I was right that I had to use the other blue bean, just, uh, just had to think about that a little bit, and there we go. Okay, neat! Check it out, I solved a five bean puzzle. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, let's try the other one. That's a lot of beans, a thin line of slime. Okay, blue bean detector, some suspiciously placed tiles. So... You're telling me that with... Well, hang on. Why is this not just... Oh, you cost two reds and a blue to spawn. That's fine. What is the issue with... Um... Oh, the issue with a bucket bouncing back and forth is that it... Uh... It would go in the water. Um, 
Okay, so I suspect what's gonna happen here is I'll have... Okay, who can bounce where? Um, I want to have a bucket holding a blue bean going back and forth here and here. On these tiles, I need to have... I can't have two rollers because I don't have enough uh, beans for that. If I had a bomb here... Bomb takes two yellows. Uh, so if I just put down a bucket... Uh, sure. And also place a roller here. Hmm. You sure about that one? Reasonably. Uh, I'm gonna give you a blue bean for the detector. And now a bomb will have to be keeping you in place. So timing is critical. How long will this last? That explodes not long enough. You sploosh in the water, okay. So my other idea is instead of putting the bomb there, I plant it somewhere up in this area. Oops. Uh, I could have gone one norther. Could I have? Probably not. No, that arrives two turns too late. Okay, so here. That moves you back and doesn't buy me as much time at all. Okay, so no. Uh, all right. So instead, maybe I want, maybe I don't want this roller here. Maybe for some amount of time, I want that to be true. Okay, so let's think about this situation. Could I somehow from in here, wait. If I just had two reds on there, alongside that blue, wouldn't that do it? Um, okay, how do you propose doing that? Oh, I see a way. Whoops, I, okay, I can undo a reset. I would propose doing that by blowing up this roller. Which should be perfectly doable. Like this. Oops, well, okay, I guess... Uh, can I move fast enough for this? Mm, sort of... Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think this does it. Uh, sure, you'll see me. I can reposition you. I'm gonna make you exist. Uh, no, I'm not yet. Not until I'm standing here. Then you start existing. Then you're gonna blow that up, and then I can turn you into a bucket. There we go. Okay. Well, cool. I found the easy five bean puzzle. Hey! I did not expect to get both of those. All right, master your buckets. <laughs> Especially coming into that one with as little time as I had left to do it. All right. Well, cool. Um, okay, right, so I don't, like, teleport back with that. I could do a quick warp, but I'm gonna do a slow warp. The kind that involves using my feet to take me from place to place. My favorite way to warp. Alright, great! So, done with buckets. Um, again, Lazy River maybe is something I could get done if I tried again. Uh, I will at some point, but... 
that just feels like such a momentum killer because it's equally likely that I'd come there and just like nothing would happen. So instead, I think I'm going to move on. What is world three? I saw some doors open. Will I be able to see what they required before they opened? So what are you? Okay, no. So I, they lit up and are ready to open, but they don't actually open until I, uh, till I walk up to them. Okay, so yeah, next time let's go down here and get introduced to possibly a whole new monster. Yeah, I see that little blobby cloud thing there with a very, uh, what is this information sign here? <laughs> well, uh, next time I guess we're going to find out.